Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 78, the $1,000 a day challenge. How to average $1,000 a day net profit, that is after commissions trading only two or three hours a day. As you'll see, most days, and well, as you've probably seen, most days I've wrapped my trading up within 30 minutes. $1,000 not enough, increase your position size. And of course, what I teach you here, you can apply to the futures, forex and stock markets. Let's get the disclaimer over and done with. So traders, we do know there's a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable. And of course, you can pause the, the disclaimer to read the disclaimer in full. Traders, you hear me talk about about this a great deal in my training videos and my YouTube videos uh, I talk about the Goldilocks rule uh, that is not too hard not too easy just right that is if you're new to trading or considering a day trading career or perhaps day trading has not been good to you up till now today I'm going to really focus on looking at some trend trades for you now I do have two trades for two winners that I will explain to you but leading up to those on the same chart I'm going to show you a number of trend trades how and why and where you would have entered those trades I just want to, to show you really how simple day trading can be now before we get there we do need to uh, well quick advertisement let me get this right as always traders my videos are raw real and unedited okay I don't run to a script so first of all if you haven't downloaded uh, my ebook the truth about day trading please click on the description link below please make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, that way you'll be kept up to date with all of my videos I've got hundreds of videos on YouTube uh, very quick real advertisement traders if you really want to master the art of day trading receive all of my indicators and really model exactly what I do you receive over 30 PowerPoints is hundreds of hours of recordings and by the way you don't have to watch them all I think I've now got about 18 different setups that's more for the experienced traders the very experienced traders but you may choose to stay with only a couple of um, of my core setups which we'll be covering today all of that is only $197 once only lifetime access and as a bonus you can also attend eight of my two-hour live coaching sessions I have a live trading room and I have a live coaching room where every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I typically have around 100 traders in the room where I'm teaching them how to day trade we cover everything from the psychology of trading through to money management right through to mastering my setups now after month one if you wish you can drop me an email and subscribe to my room ongoing but that's an option you've got to drop me an email if you'd like to do that now you probably hear me say and I do sound like a broken record at time but it's important is about having a realistic goal when you're first looking at mastering the art of day trading there's so much BS out there where traders have this expectation it's going to be easy to start earning 500 to a thousand dollars a day per contract that is not the reality can you get rich day trading absolutely but get rich slowly I encourage members initially to target $100 a day per contract now this is a game changer for most um, for really as I state here 98% of a population would 5,000 a week as an income be a life changer to you for most it is how would you achieve that uh, with what's the word for it with almost stress-free not quite stress-free but almost just trade more contracts and go for a lower um, uh, amount of money per contract go for a hundred dollars a day now today we're actually going to be doing and looking at the six tick Renko now normally traders I trade the four tick however this particular day the market was really pumping it was really moving so I jumped the time frame up to a six tick so in that particular case if you were trading a 60 I'd like to go for 300 a day minimum but as you'll see one trade will get you that $100 a day now as we 
a step up the time frame let me show you this where is it as you step up the time frame you do need to allow for a larger account balance you see most traders have sold the story that you only need the intraday day trading margin your broker and that's what your brokers will tell you well a lot of brokers will tell you you see if you're only say trading with $500 trading the two tick uh, yes one trade and you've probably lost a hundred dollars minimum you've just lost 20% of your capital so what's absolutely critical to truly succeed as a day trader you stay within the 2% rule we never ever risk more than 2% so today looking at the six tick we can see here I recommend that you have five thousand dollars as a minimum in fact in today's illustrations I'm going to show you six thousand dollars and the reason being if I'm waiting for my higher time frame candle to close and I'll show you that just got to remember that <laughs> when we get to the charts uh, I need to allow to allow for a slightly larger stop loss so in other words if I have a very deep pullback on a chart and I then it looks like my entry chart my trading chart is continuing I want additional confirmation and I've come up with a, a formula a mathematical formula of what's the ideal entry chart anchor chart one and anchor chart two and they work an absolute treat when we trade them in conjunction with each other now you may be thinking but Ray I don't have six thousand dollars for the beautiful part is traders you can start on the micros now we won't go through all the mark all the markets that have micros available but you can as you'll see in a moment you can start on a micro within a matter of weeks parlay your account up to where you're trading the big contract there's only one way to learn how to day trade traders it's the right way the first time now I could spin a big story and show you some great spreadsheets here uh, and I don't actually uh, even show them these are very conservative spreadsheets that is we only start trading an additional contract when we double our money but on the other hand many of you are going to probably be with me for months if not years in my live trading room or in my coaching room and so I know that the ridiculous compounding tables out there are just not achievable but this one is how in this particular case if you average $300 a day and I'm going to show you how to do that okay blind Freddy perhaps I shouldn't quite say blind Freddy but a committed trader can do that easily using my methodology within three trades and I'll show you those what that means is within 11 weeks I have a potential of earning between 10 and eleven thousand dollars a week my account is now up to forty three thousand dollars that is the reality following what I'm going to be teaching you today but getting back to this start small and as you achieve $100 a day you then increase your daily target you're building both confidence and competence this is um, uh, from one of my members only last week I've now hit my hundred dollars per day for 16 days taking a slowly building up and loving it in fact I think it might have been the day before or a couple of days later he said the challenge is is the challenge is to go to the simulator after that I want to keep going but it's about building confidence competence uh, and also self trust as well so we'll look at that in a moment but what I want to show you here was that 25 minutes a day trading target 1,000 a day see my targets a thousand a day I want to get in get out get paid I want to hear that cash register ringing for young guns I'm in my 60s the young guns may be happy to sit there and they go for their 20 30 grand a week fantastic you might be prepared for that financially I don't need to and I don't want to I want to be in and out uh, I've also got a lot of things I do with members we've got over 10,000 members now 2,000 are active and so that keeps me very busy so we're going to be looking at how I achieve this on the six tick 
so we'll go to the slides in a moment but uh, here we only had I only took off uh, only traded two trades okay two trades um, uh, both winners within uh, 25 minutes and as I mentioned usually I'll trade a lower time frame now what I'm also going to do is show you the anchor chart one that is I mentioned I use three charts my entry chart where I manage in all of my trades and I'll pick up scalps the anchor chart one for confirmation and some other magical things see this right here I call this a t12 I want you to look over at your at my entry chart price came back and I took this trade it was a no-brainer we call these t12s what I want you to notice here is traders it pulled back to the 200 and it bounced traders the way the time frames that I use with the EMAs that I use it's I don't want to say it's magical but these patterns we see every day for an example this one is what I call a t10 now a t10 is also known as a kaching trade or a money on the floor trade been around for years the concept very few people know about it but we can get this pattern appears on either the entry chart or the anchor chart one now in this particular case I took this trade on the entry chart but the main setup was here on the anchor chart one so I teach you these these are all patterns by the way there's no mm, uh, well actually that's not quite true do I have a trend okay that's the main thing so I want to be careful I don't want to be flippant and say oh you know there's no work involved in this you've got to learn the patterns but it's not rocket science okay it truly isn't you know if it was easy everyone would be doing it but fortunately it's not rocket science especially for me so I'm going to be going over the charts in a moment and I'm going to be showing you all the trades beforehand as well but before we get there I just want to quickly run through this as I do with every slide every um, uh, YouTube video and the reason is show me a man or woman with a compelling future and I'll show you a man or woman that's got an incredible chance of making it as a day trader is so many people are like a ship without a rudder they're just out there floating aimlessly by having clear-cut goals it gives you what we call clarity and as the late Earl Nightingale said people goals succeed because they know where they're going now this is a PDF that I actually prepared I've just put it up here on this PowerPoint and I'm going to do a video just on on the the um, PDF in the next few days but it's entitled where will you be financially in six months and as it points out setting goals helps trigger new behaviors behaviors now in this example as I say let's set some trading goals it gives you focus it promotes a sense of self mastery and in the end you can't manage what you don't measure now here we're going to start off with a $600 account targeting only $30 a day once we build up our account to around for uh, sorry around six thousand dollars we then go over and start trading the big contract you see the micro accounts are ten percent of the value of the big contract you might say well actually Ray I've got my six to ten I've got a hundred thousand dollars as many of our traders do and as I say go and invest most of it put on a term deposit for now start on the micro make all the mistakes you're going to make um, get a couple of months under your belt you see the time's going to pass anyway we've got to get you we've got to have traders develop uh, the right trading habits from day one you see trading truly is 90 percent head stuff but once again there'll be people watching this video will, will be logging off right now they don't want to hear this they don't want to hear what it really takes but let me show you and start to create a compelling future very quickly for you before we go to the charts so you start with six hundred dollars and we target only thirty dollars a day and we're going to be showing you how to do that within 12 weeks I'm now up to the nearly seven thousand dollars okay so we've built our account 
now down here for an example you can look at this and say I'll oh, trade in a hundred micros earning 14 grand a week well you don't trade 100 micros when you build your account you then move over to the big contract and that means you'd be trading 10 contracts okay the commissions are a lot lower uh, there's a whole lot of reasons for doing that but once you get to your six thousand dollars we now start trading the big contract targeting three hundred dollars a day three to four net trades a day three to four net trades a day so here within 11 weeks I'm now up to my eleven thousand dollars a week my accounts now fifty four thousand dollars I'm well on the way now life is about asking the right questions likewise when it comes to trading we've got to be asking ourselves the right questions how do I get there what's the best way forward which setups will give me the best returns now in this particular case here uh, I'm a scalper I typically will go for between sit between five and seven uh, steps which I'll show you if you're not familiar with what the steps are irrespective of the time frame if you see me on a two or a three tick or a ten tick chart I call each increment up a step it's just different for that time frame now to get there we need between four three and four net trades a day now this is one of the tools that I also give you and train you in in so if you were targeting $200 a day and your win-loss ratio is 75% and say if my target was only 10 ticks a day that tells me on average I've got to execute 13 trades a day which by the way on the NQ it's very easy to do that in a couple of hours but let's say now you are in, you're improving your skill set and you're now up to uh, 14 ticks here and uh, per trade on average you trade in what we call the deeper pullbacks the two B's and I now to average $300 a day only need seven trades a day now let's jump this up to $300 now what we're also going to be doing here with $300 traders we're going to be going for a larger target so it also means I'm going to have a larger stop loss so in this case with a higher time frame and you'll see very soon why I need to have this typically will actually works out to be I find on average I've got a 22 tick stop loss would be on average and so let's also go for a 20 tick average target okay and you'll see that in a moment you can see there I've wrapped my trading up including losses within seven trades if I increase that now up to 24 ticks I'm now down to uh, five trades a day now in executing five to seven trades a day which includes any losses you may encounter uh, we focus on not the five to seven but the individual trade one good trade at a time we focus on one good trade at a time the bottom line is this you have started off with a 600 account if you trade say the four tick or a lower time frame you might start off with as you've seen in many of my videos four hundred dollars the challenge is though if you want to say not the challenge but the fact is if you want to say uh, trade a uh, a slower market slow your chart down one of ways to do that is to increase the time frame hence 600 and 6,000 now your broker will tell you you don't need anywhere near that you only need a thousand dollars for intraday margins however remember we never ever ever risk more than two percent in our account of our account in a trade if you do you're going to lose your money and this is the hard part for many traders to accept you see if you don't have the 6,000 start on the micro and do it correctly now if we do it this way it's going to take you 21 weeks to get there now uh, you've got to remember too this is potentially and the reason I've got to say potentially are you going to follow the rules are you going to put the time and effort in you see winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do and one of those things is starting off on the simulator 
it might take you eight weeks on the simulator before you're ready to go live but that's a beautiful part about simulators you can get all the practice you want in now there's many markets you can you can approach now uh, with the money management including Forex by trading the the minis or the micro Forex contracts likewise here on the ES uh, you can start by trading the micro ES which is once again 10% of the value now don't be fooled by these intraday margins uh, you've got to have the margin I spoke about now you, you don't have to keep all your money with your broker by the way in fact I recommend up here you never have any more than 60% of your money with your broker you just have the rest in reserve okay there's no need to leave all your money with the broker but what is important is you follow the 2% rule now as we're about to go to the charts a couple of key points we're going to see on the charts what we call pivots uh, if you're brand new to trading it's a whole new language uh, all of these are very straightforward uh, once you understand what they are and it's it's certainly easy to learn and fortunately with basically everything here we've now got indicators that tell us where these levels are pivot levels the prior days open high low and close levels our major EMAs I want you to remember the 89 and 200 our intraday swing highs and lows and the current days high and low so what we're now going to do I'm going to minimize this and let's get to the charts now this is uh, midnight so what I'm going to do and this is the Globex session so how it actually works the futures markets close at um, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time and they reopen at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and that's actually called the Globex session the after-hours market and there's some fantastic trading opportunities now some will say oh you can't trade that market well they don't they haven't tried or maybe they want to sit in front of a TV rather than trade and become financially independent but it's true some of the best trading is after hours because it's tradable but this the speed of the market it makes it a lot easier to trade I call the opening of the New York session the killing field that's where so many traders get slaughtered you're trading against the big boys and the hedge funds and the funds managers etc so what I'm going to do is tell you exactly what I'm looking for here we'll just do this for five six minutes and we'll look at the trades I took we'll stay focused for a moment just on the entry chart and when I get up to the trades I've taken there are just two on this particular day uh, we'll then look at the anchor chart one now when we see this this is called angulation traders where price is angled away we've also got divergence just there okay so we this is called divergence okay so as we pull back I've got my first super scalper just there okay I'm not interested in taking this see after we have divergence you usually have what we call a two-legged pullback and I want you to notice that there that's the 200 EMA so let's just pull back to this and I want you to watch my indicator down here this is called the MACD platinum it's what I call a zero lag now I've got that for both TradeStation and IntraTrader and I give you that for all other platforms I give you the settings where you can set this up and these indicators up exactly the same now as we pull up to the 200 EMA we're always expecting what a bounce and there it is right there and there approximately when I say approximately is our entry now I'm going to keep it fairly simple because in fact this one here is a counter trend trade but I've got some divergence and it's subtle but you soon get to read your instruments I want you to think like you're a pilot of an aircraft you're flying over night time you re re you require your instruments now let's just say here I get in now I'm after seven steps now see that lime colored line this is midnight that's the current day's high this is the current day's low okay but I'm after seven steps now remember this here seven steps 
is $105 on this market less commissions okay that's three trades a day I need to hit my target now I call these steps by the way each step on this time frame is worth $15 if we were on the four tick each one of these steps will be worth $10 once you have this explained to you correctly it's it's very very easy now we're now short on this trade one two three whoops that's not good and I should point out where's my stop loss go one tick above the swing I want to have my stop loss one tick above the swing now we hit two steps let's just get back ah, here we go yep two uh, three four five six seven and I've now got a new day's low here now I want you to notice my long-term stochastic in fact for members watching yes that was a t10 and I'm out of that particular trade so what's next I don't know let's wait and see if we get another bounce here at the 200 no okay now this is possibly leading to a market reversal you see the footprints to a trend traders are uh, for an uptrend we're looking for a series of higher highs and higher lows so what I want to see here is a reversal but I need to see to go long here I need to see a higher low so let's just see how we go here and where we turn this is a couple of days ago so I've got no idea where it is okay so one so important thing I've now got a new higher high look at my long-term stochastic my EMAs are starting to fan thank you very much and as we're pulling back traders you're always preparing because anywhere down here if we get a reversal and I get my super scalper we've got a long trade now just there here we've got one right there so this is also known as a 21 B now let's assume we didn't get in until now I'm just going to be very conservative here now for those watching it's also known as a slingshot 21 B nice uptrend and guess how many steps I'm after seven one two three four five six seven eight now what is important traders is that uh, you never count exactly seven steps because just because it's seven you hit seven doesn't mean you were filled or your trade you've you covered your trade it's nice to see it tick through now remember that would have ticked through my target by three ticks and I was being generous with my entry as well now a question that comes up is do I trail I personally don't I teach my members how I'm a scalper in and out in and out keeps my wrist low also it's easy to trade for me okay I don't have to stress you know I can see the meter ticking over I can see how much green I've got all of a sudden I'm getting a deep pullback I love to <laughs> see the green on my platform then get out and look for another trade entry that is my style all right so that was 9 10 11 have a look at that that's about uh, about $150 move instead of 105 if you had to stay with it but that suits me okay so pulling back pulling back pulling back uh, we've got a trade set up right there now uh, now let me be conservative there on the NQ I like to see in most cases the super scalper plot okay I like to see it plot now where would uh, and also just there we've got a slingshot again one thing we haven't done here is this let me pull the aha uh -huh. all right traders what's really important with our trading is with any entry we have we want to know what's in front of a trade and I say do we have blue skies ahead what I mean by that you know is there anything in there that might may impede or that I may bounce off we also know remember on that document down here I said or I mentioned uh, where is it here we want to know where are our pivots where are the open high low and 
close we're at major EMAs and we're of a swing highs and lows and the current days high and low why because they become price magnets they become a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders trade them so let's go for our seven steps again let's just say we didn't get in till now okay oh so my stop goes one tick below my break even my break even traders is five steps plus three ticks so once I hit say one two three four five I then go to break even which is past my entry plus three ticks means that if it comes back and takes me out I've got usually my commission covered okay one two uh, what was that that was one two three four look and here's a case there where we only actually hit five so there you go so it's perfect one two three four so that's a classic example how deep does this go back now that would have stopped me out so here's the bummer <clears throat> for drawback when you go to break even is that here it comes back to below where my entry was and I've now got another 21b again with a slingshot okay so this can be the disadvantage of getting to break even too early and how far does that go another seven oh look at this here okay up to the pivot so out of break even then you had another 21b thank you very much now I want you to notice the strength of your trend here you've got a beautiful strong uptrend now as we come up to the pivot do you know what I'm expecting traders a bounce how do, why do I know that 95% of the time we bounce so if we were trailing a trade up to the pivot we'd either want to cover or bring our stop up nice and tight because we usually get a bounce at the pivot in fact we've got a specific trade it's called the t28 or the pivot magnet trade it's accurate about 90% of the time uh, trading into pivots a couple of little things we do to make it work but it kicks butt okay and it's a trend following strategy so as we come up and there is a reversal now I do have to just look at the uh, anchor chart one for a moment because what am I going to do here so let me have a look at this here aha uh -huh. all right so what I've got right here traders is what we call a 2d a double divergence okay now I do have a double divergence and one little thing I want you to notice I've also this is my first kiss of the pivot and also uh, what was I going to say there food oh, I've got a very very strong uptrend so the first time you kiss the pivot there's a very good chance you'll go up there and you'll hit it again but also very strong trend so I'm going to sit this out and remember I said to you and I mustn't forget I meant to be pointing out mainly uh, trend following trades why traders we've already wrapped up our 300 well and truly per contract but let's look for our next one trading with the trend so I'm pulling back pulling back now as I pull back am I going to get a bounce here yes but no it doesn't qualify yet pulling back pulling back okay now that qualifies and this trade is yes it is this is what we call a 2b now in taking this 2b this is a no-brainer trade I want you to notice up above you've got the current days high and you've got the pivot guess what they are we've got a double bangy there um, as a magnet let's uh, say we don't get into the close of the fourth candle I'm after now I want to say I'm after seven steps but also I want to really lock profits in by the time I hit this day's high hopefully I'm out one two three four five six now this is where I would want to lock profit in I'm going to lock in probably at least four steps that was six wasn't it seven eight okay I've got my seven steps I'm going to be out of that all right now this could keep going for miles but I prefer just to be out of that trade and um, uh, happy as pig in poop okay so what we go 
now I've got another reversal and this is a divergence trade I definitely want to take I've got to point this out traders um, when you trade divergence see that there we call that the V okay you've got a V look over here I've now got a big V here I didn't have the V this is also my second um, uh, bounce off the pivot I'm also at the day's high this is what we call a loaded trade even more importantly look over at the massive divergence I've now got on the anchor chart one I won't even bother looking at anchor chart two and I've hooked back over on the entry chart when I've got a 2d members you know this where's our target the 89 EMA whenever I've got a 2d I'm targeting the 89 EMA now as we come back down now remember traders I can't make this up because in a minute you're going to see the live trades I took so this is just leading up to those I thought it'd just be good to show you this that it's not a fluke now where's my entry gonna be it's not going to be until now I've got another trade now this is what we call a 2BD what I call a 2BD it's after major divergence however I've still got an incredibly strong uptrend one two three now the high of day is the target now I've broken the pivot the high of day now this is where by the way you'll see me go for quite often larger targets I might increase my target by a couple of extra steps but you'll also see me usually front run so that was we wouldn't have been into the four so one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm probably going to be out now maybe at best here okay so that um, uh, there is what's at nine or ten by fifteen dollars uh, each move so there's up to a hundred and fifty dollar move okay and up we go okay now what I'm going to do though I'm now going to move to the trades we've got because we're now 37 minutes into this video all right we're nearly there so what we've got just here traders is we're at the high of day uh, you can see here we've got this high just there and it's also known as a 3d and the reason we know this I know it's a three, I'd already labeled it when I was trading live by the way but a 3d means I've got three divergences on three time frames okay I want to take this trade <laughs> I really do for members watching uh, this is probably about to turn into a t10 as well and there you go so you've got a t10 just there but I know I wasn't in on this trade okay so I wasn't quite trading yet come back down so we're still in the trade having a stop loss one tick above would have kept us in that uh, t10 that was there so I know I was coming back down okay pulling back up I still wasn't in a trade here but you had uh, that's what we call the t20-1 I still wasn't in it at the, but then I pulled back and then I looked over at the anchor chart so over at the anchor chart this here itself um, is actually what we call a 2b but I wasn't on that one I can't remember whether I hadn't started trading for the day so this by the way this is about um, 5 p.m. 5 30 p.m. my time so I look over at the anchor chart and here is what I see whoops let me just get this over here for you let's bring this over right there this is what we call a t10 we had t10s on the entry chart over here but when we have a t10 set up the same pattern just on a higher time frame it usually means a larger move now what's in front of me okay in taking this trade I would not be in until the close of a third candle which is exactly what's happened here but also down below I've got a pivot and I've got my 200 remember before I said we want to check out do we have blue skies ahead well I do until I hit those so my style is to usually exit at those levels however we may punch through you can trail you can do all sorts of things but let's just see so I'm two steps in three four five six seven whoops seven eight nine ten 
uh, and there I'm now out by the way so I'm out on that candle so I picked up a good must have been 10 steps on that move thank you very much so what's next well I look over on my anchor chart do I have a bounce coming up just here let me just freeze this chart for a moment and expand this this is why you need to learn how to use anchor charts very simple okay we're just simply looking for multiple bounces on multiple time frames they're predictive moves and they kick butt and they're patterns so I've gone past the 89 what's below me just here I've got the 200 so as I'm coming down okay at this stage I, I don't realize I've got a trade I'm pulling back but I do know that down below that EMA there that re represents the 200 EMA on the anchor chart one so as I'm coming down here I know I've got a just an incredible opportunity here or a very very high probability of an EMA bounce and there it is right there and we call that a t12 and we see these every day traders we get them every single day we get these bounces now in taking this trade so I do take it because this is a no-brainer this is what I call a 200 EMA overshoot I look up above what have I got above so up above you can see how my major EMAs have rolled over on my entry chart and on the anchor chart this is where it comes back to having rules based trading I've made a new lower low notice this lower low lower high new lower low guess what I'm expecting up here a new lower high so guess where I target and by the way there was a t10 and I'm out now I got right out of the major EMAs and I really perhaps should have tried to squeeze a little more out because you can see there it rallied up to the pivot now we're about to then have another setup there just here now let's expand the anchor chart one for a moment what is still the trend direction here we're still in an uptrend I've now formed a very deep pullback okay my long-term stochastic is is up is pointing up so here if anything we'd want to go long here okay and away we go again pull back here's another 34b thank you very much bit of sideways action there and in fact one two three uh, that would have been a loss traders just there that's right that would have been a loss that one there unless you front run the high of day and let me just make sure yes it would have been now what about this one beautiful and a turn into a t10 and we hit the high of day and so on so I've gone nearly 45 minutes again <laughs> traders this is not rocket science approach this correctly with the proper money management that is the account size um, to suit the time frame that you're trading and you can do this with time and effort and training and patience and discipline you know there's there's a number of things that go with it but all of these are patterns traders look what I'm bouncing off I've got a bounce here I've got a bounce here and that's a certain shape by the way uh, you've got to bounce there okay so but unfortunately you know everyone wants to you know read a book on how to fly an aircraft uh, you need the coaching but anyway this is enough let's so just as a quick recap here traders as I mentioned come and join me you know come and now uh, you know $197 you get everything you've seen here all of the indicators a ton of knowledge 30 plus PowerPoints um, uh, all for $198 plus $197 plus you get eight sessions with me now if you're looking at turning pro eventually you'll want to stay with me 
okay you you want to keep um, uh, you want me as your coach all professionals traders business leaders sportsmen all have a coach this is what I do traders I'm passionate about this and I love trading come and join me and I'll teach you how to trade thanks traders see you on the next video uh, yes and this was session 78